Hey Sneaky Nation, welcome back for some more Warframe. In this episode, we're finally going to have our Phobos Planet introduction, and it's going to be presented to you by Trinity and Sasha back there, who's not paying attention. Alright. Anyways, don't forget to click like to show your support, and if you're new, join the rest of us in Sneaky Nation by clicking subscribe. Okay, so in case you didn't see the Trinity build episode where she can basically be a tank, we're going to use the same exact one here. I know there were some suggestions for mixing and matching some of these particular mods, but we're going to go with this one again just so you can see what it looks like in some more real action. And this is the lineup. It's rejuvenation for the aura mod slot to regenerate team health, plus three heal rate. And that's actually at the max rank. Narrow Minded is a corrupted mod which gives you extra power duration at the cost of range, so that's kind of a shame in the sense of healing, but it's really good in the sense of working for the link ability because you want to keep that going as long as possible in this particular case. Stretch increases the range though, so that actually goes additional 3%, so it's only really giving you 3%. It's not really having too much of a negative effect. I mean, you are using a actual slot there for it, but it still works out. Continuity increases the duration even more. Quick thinking drains energy to stop lethal damage with 160% efficiency at not quite the max rank, it's at 3 out of 5. Streamline increases the power efficiency so we can cast the abilities more often. Intensify makes the power stronger. Flow increases the maximum amount of energy you can store at once. And then Vitality increases health. So this will be our lineup for this episode. We're also bringing the Bolto Prime back. The Bolto, which I'm assuming I won't be using. I want to rank this up so we can do a proper intro video for it. And then the Dacker Prime's back again because we need some slicey slicey action. And there's level 4 Sasha. Alright, anyways, let's head over to Phobos. This was actually the planet unlocked after completing Saturn, the Saturn boss, who is Mr. General Ruck. And we're going to start here. I'm not sure what the actual first planet is you unlock when you do that. But we're going to start here for this exterminate mission. This seems like the most logical place to begin because I want to make, obviously, the boss fight here, which... It's going to take a while because there are, what, 20 missions on here. So that's going to be the very last mission. We're going to start here. This is going to be an exterminate against the Grenier. The levels range from 16 to 18. Let's go get him. Infiltrated. Okay, we have 79 enemies to destroy so we can complete this. Oops. You've got its Lotus Meister. Okay, so Sasha may run into a little bit of trouble because she's only level 4, but these enemies are really not difficult at all. We're going to just run right through them all. So let's actually use the Dacker Prime a bit here first. We're going to keep Link going because all the damage inflicted to me is now reflected back onto all enemies that this energy is attaching itself to. And we are destroying them left and right. I mean, this really is not even a fair fight for these guys. I feel a little bit bad for them, but at the same time, not really because they try to kill me every time I come here. So they're getting what they deserve, quite frankly. Nicely done. Oh, some more guys down here. No longer. Oh, wait. So this guy's over here, too. Oh, these guys are all down here. They're everywhere. Okay, so that's the last one down here. This one, I'm going to try not to cut too much, this particular mission, just so you can get an idea of what this actual tile set looks like if you're new for some reason. Obviously, if you're a veteran, you're going to be a little bit bored because I'm sure you've been here numerous times. It's really no reason to come back here after you complete this mission originally to get all the mastery points for all the nodes, though. Okay, so let's keep... Oh, I have enough energy for Link. Damn it. Okay, so what we're going to do is cast Energy Vampire. Then we're going to get all of our energy back, like so. Brilliant. And we can even heal ourselves, like so. That fully heals our shield and also... Oh, this guy's annoying. Shield and health are fully healed by her ultimate ability. Oh, we have to get behind him. Nicely done. Okay, so now we have 209 energy. As you can tell, Trinity is obviously a very capable solo master. We can make her even better too if we get some more mods. I don't think the particular mod I was told to switch uh, the... Intensify mod out for I actually have. I might, but I'm not sure. We'll have to look into that in the future. But we're just going to run through this, and nobody's really going to stand a chance of stopping me. The only thing I'm concerned about is, of course... Damn, look at Sasha go. Go get him, Sasha. Go get him. 
She's not very strong right now. <laughs> it's only a level 5. It's not a fair fight. He's a little bit stronger than her. At least I'm assuming those are all males. I don't really know for sure. I can't wait till update 17 reaches PS4 because I can actually buy some like actual armor to put on Kubros. They're releasing two different sets of armor. One looks very masculine. The other one kind of looks more feminine, but I don't think that's really what they're intended to be viewed as. We can go over those shortly in the series, though. Oh, man. Where... Where is this guy? This guy, I do not like. There you are. I love this invisibility. I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose because I want to stay completely visible at all times for Link to work. But still. Man, the Dacker Prime is so amazing. The last time you saw it in the series, it actually... Well... Technically, you saw it in the last video, but before that, it was not properly modded. This time, I have a catalyst on it. I have the mods actually more well suited to the base stats or taking as much advantage of it as possible, currently with my current mods, anyway. Okay, so that should be enough for those guys down that way. And then, after we get to the next few missions, we'll start cutting them down so that they're more lean, mean fighting machine videos, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Another really cool thing about Link is it actually will show you where the enemies are in case you can't find them. As long as they're within your range anyway. Where is this guy? Oh, there we go. Thank you, Link. You're so helpful. Oh, there's another one down here. These, I swear, these guys are freaking everywhere. Could have sworn I completely cleared this area out. No. Oh, here he is. Good night. Okay, let's hack this. This is my least favorite type of hacking. Override successful. Let's get going. At least I didn't embarrass myself there by making any mistakes. You should have seen me in the first few times I tried doing that one. Oh, man. I kept going around the circle and I kept hitting the same exact ones over and over again. It's unlocked, it's locked, it's unlocked, it's locked. Okay, now I guess we go down here. Alright, 45 down out of 86. Let's get Link back on. We need an energy vampire as well. Oh, we don't have enough energy for that. Damn it! Should have cast that first. Hopefully some of these guys drop some. If not, no big deal. Oh, that's another thing we have to worry about on Phobos too. These are actually like... They're neutral enemies, but they attack everybody. They're kind of like Devil Rays, but they're called, what, Desert Skates? There's really no purpose in fighting them either. I mean, it's always best to just try to get around them. I guess they have, like, a shield on their back, so you want to hit them when they actually, like, lift themselves up and expose their bellies. Hit them where it counts. Always where it counts. Okay, I should... Yeah, I have enough for energy vampire now. Let's just use that. So we get back in better shape. There we go. We can probably get even higher than that too, right? Oh yeah, there we go. We're in great shape now. Let's put Link back on. Oh, hello there. Guy hiding over here in this strange little part of your cave here. I don't know. This tile set does look really cool, by the way. I guess this was one of the first ones to be different because I remember when I first started playing Warframe on the PS4. I believe at that time this actually had this tile set. And then all these other planets are slowly starting to get their own unique looks too and game's getting better overall in that regard. The bypass is done. Go. I mean the one that Mercury still currently has is so plain and boring. I'm so sick of seeing that one. <laughs> so many planets had that tile set. Like, Earth used to have it, Mercury, Ceres used to have it. Um, I believe... Does Mars still have it? Yeah, Mars... Yeah, Mars still has it. Oh, no, wait, Mars, they actually did the 2 minute record, didn't they? I'm not sure. I haven't been to Mars since that update came out. I know that that tile set definitely has taken over one of the planets, though. So we'll have to look into that, do some investigating. What is going on here? What's one? Oh. One of these annoying nuisances. This is a Grenier Regulator. Messes up your... Ah! 
Oh, who are you? Who the hell do you think you are, sir? Oh, this is an annoying thing. I think this is actually how Ash drops now. At least on the PC update 17, anyway. This particular enemy type. Like, you know, the Eximuses drop Oberon now, whereas he used to be dropped from Vehek on Earth prior to the key coming out and Hydroid taking over that actual honor, if you want to call it that. What the hell is this guy? This guy is going to be really irritating. I don't like your face. Oh, come on. Let's put Link back on. There we go. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Got him. Sucker! Okay, that one's down for the count. Okay, nine enemies remain. Let's see how the Bolto works. I mean, it's not terrible, I'm sure, once it ranks up and gets some mods on it. For now, it's pretty weak. Okay, one more, one more. Oh, missed it. There we go. Override complete. Move on. Link it up. That should have been a stealth kill as far as I'm concerned, but whatever. Voltor Prime for the win. This thing's so properly modded, but I still need to put a few more formas on it. Damn Axelmas. Now this only gives you a, like a slight idea of what Trinity is capable of because these enemies really aren't really a match for for her. So we can like try it on like some tower 3 missions eventually. Cuz she is quite capable plus not only can she tank, she's a very important supportive role as well. One enemy remains. Let's get him with the Dacker Prime. She's the main healer in the game, so she obviously has plenty of benefits. Destroyed their faces. Alright, so that's all enemies. That is officially a mission complete. Great job, Sasha. Now, I didn't want to go over it in the middle of that mission or before that mission started, but we're going to go over the actual intro like we properly are supposed to do it in the series. So, Phobos, the Grenier Hub occupied the abandoned settlements here. And it drops the following different types of resources. Rubido, Morphix, Plastids, and Alloy Plates. Now, Morphix are obviously the the rare one here, really. I mean, Plastids, those are still important. They they don't really drop as much as they used to. I think they like cut them in half compared to what they used to drop back in the day, but still a decent place to come for. And Rubido, obviously you need that to build lots of stuff. But Morphix, generally you need that for a lot of different things, and it's the most unco ah, uncommon drop here. And then Alloy Plates, those, those range from the ceiling and Void Mission, so you'll have plenty of those. Don't even worry about that stuff. All right. Anyways, next up is Kepler. It's a defense mission against the Grenier. The levels range from 18 to 23. Let's do this. Infiltrated. Here we go. The enemy is at our doorstep. You must defend our equipment until reinforcements arrive. Okay, so this is the tile set on Phobos for defense missions. You've already seen this in the series previously. There was an a Nova episode. We had some sneakies in here. We try to survive as long as possible. I believe we ended up losing that mission in the end, but we still got pretty far. Okay, so we're going to stay here for a little bit. Probably just till wave 5 because you've already seen it. No need to beat a dead horse. Not that that's really the proper term, but I couldn't think of a better one at this current time. Okay, so let's get some energy vampire going here. Let's do one more just so we can get up to our max. There we go, that's the stuff. Now we're gonna link it up. Get some more Dacker Prime action. Sweet, sweet Dacker Prime action. Now these enemies actually pour in from all different areas in here. I mean, this is why I actually don't particularly care for this type of tile set. Like, this is the same one almost as the Earth one. And you'll know what I mean because it's actually kind of the same type of deal here. There's like this fortress around it, like this. Yeah, it's kind of like a fortress, I guess you could call it. It has several different waypoints in here. Let's see, there's one, two. Man, this guy's got a real issue, doesn't he? You cut that out. 
Okay, so there's one, two, three, four. Yeah, it looks like there's four different ones that come in here. And then that's not counting all these different little waypoints up here where they jump up and they even like repel in here too. Heal up. Need to get the affinity for that. I actually prefer like the ones on... I mean, I just kind of like uh, insulted the Mercury tile set, but I think that one's actually one of the better ones because it's so enclosed. It's good for farming resources. Has a pretty cool design too. It's like a you're inside a cavern, a cave system. All right, so let's wave one. And next up is Sharpless. It's a mobile defense against the Grenier. The levels range from 18 to 20. What we're gonna do is wrap around here. We'll complete these two. We'll save the Dark Sector for towards the end of the planet. Then we'll start wrapping around this way, and get really into this planet. All right. Anyways, let's go get them. Infiltrated! Alright, so we've arrived. This is the location up top. So there are two different staircases we have to go down. Well, one we have to go down, the other we have to go up. So we're gonna go to the bottom level first. This is actually really cool in this tile set too. I kinda like this, this whole setup. Uh, we'll install it like so. There we go. They'll attempt to destroy our computer terminal. We'll destroy their faces because they really can't do anything about it. And it's really straightforward. Oh man, look at how many enemies are in here. What the heck? Huh. I know I probably shouldn't have used that healing that quickly, but still. Got into a bit of a sticky situation there. Yeah, this gets to be a little bit hectic in here. A little bit hectic. Oh man. That was actually some pretty decent time in there. This is why you definitely want to try to play with people as much as possible, but it is more than possible to solo if necessary. Like, I know a lot of people always mention that they're looking for people to play with and stuff. There's not really a whole lot of people that play these regular missions. Like, most people at this point are probably playing the Void missions. And you probably find a lot of people on, like, one of the starting planets like Earth or Mercury. Just because a lot of people probably, like, start playing the game and then they stop. You typically see that in all games, like, even MMOs. You'll find like the starting cities and stuff will be the most active and then like the the middle game content really isn't all at, that active and then the end game content you'll probably see a lot more people. Generally the way they seem to go as far as I'm concerned. And that's officially a wrap for this area so let's grab the data mass and go on up the stairs. Oh man this is really hectic. Thankfully, Sasha has the invisibility up her sleeve, her fur sleeve, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and this one up here looks like. Uh, get out of my way, please. I know we're trying to kill each other, but we can still use some manners. Get rid of any big baddies like him. I mean, the only real concern I'm worried about is like a bomb bar or something coming. Or these guys. These guys are so annoying. The Hellions. Oh, this guy just stole my bolt or prime, you jerk. Quite a nuisance. Ugh, man. Always gotta be a nuisance. There we go. His problem is now solved. Now, the enemies in here come from all different directions. Like, they can come from that staircase there, I just ran up, they can come down this ramp here through that door. Always keep Link active. Now, this doesn't make you completely invincible, but it does help you out greatly in this. That's why you always have to have your ultimate at the ready. Blessing is a great ability. It will actually completely heal your entire team too if they're within range. That's why it's such an important thing to have. Ah, Sasha! Sasha! No! Okay, we need a blessing, we need Link back, okay. Man, he stole my gun again! Oh, this is a different one technically, but still. This is way too ridiculous. I mean, he's gotta go down because he keeps burning all those. 
they're technically Kubros, but whatever they're technically called. Ah! Oh, I hate this guy. At least he wasn't that strong. Let's go around. Alright, so we're officially done. Now we're going to extract. And that brings us up to Flimnap. That's an interesting name. It's a survival against a Grenier. The levels range from 20 to 25. Infiltrated is raiding this ship for supplies. You are here to distract the enemy. Trigger the alarm. I think that's the first time I ever did in one go. Nice job, me. Nice job. Okay, same strategy. We're gonna try to get our energy vampire to get us as much energy as possible right off the bat. Then we're gonna keep Link going. Wow, that's kind of an unfortunate way to die. What? That's uh, that's weird. Alright, yeah, so we'll stay for five minutes and then we'll get on out of here. This is actually an interesting tile set change because this is not really the same as I was expecting it to be. Like, this is part of... This is part of the Mercury tile set, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is, actually. There are some... Uh, Phobos tile sets that actually do take place outside that are legitimately part of the whole survival game type. I don't know what's going on with this business though. Link is always active. Every time I say that, I was thinking this is Zelda. Where's Princess? Where's Princess Zelda, Link? Now, she's obviously not as great as Necros is here, because he can actually cause the life support capsules, or not the capsules, but the life support to drop from enemies more often. This whole desecrate business. But she's still very, very valuable, of course. Especially when the enemies start to get stronger and your team starts taking more damage. But even in this regard, she can hold her own pretty well. She's one of the best soloists in the game, I'd have to say. So, I mean, healing yourself is one of the most crucial elements to survive in a longer period of time. Mix that with the ability that you can take so much damage. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer, really. Survival missions is still my favorite game type in the game. I just love coming in and trying to kill as many enemies as possible. They keep coming in so much. It's a great way to level up all your stuff. We finally survived for five minutes, so we're going to get out of here. And good job, us. Next up, we have Monolith. It's a rescue against the Grenier. The levels range from 18 to 20. Here we go. Infiltrated. Prisoner here that is vital to our operations. Search for the holding location. All right, we have arrived. We're gonna try to be stealthy, although I'm not counting on it. Stay away from the fire. Okay, now our weapons are not stealth based, so we will make noise if we have to use them, unless, of course, we try to use the Dacker Prime. Okay, now we should be able to zipline right across the way and go through the top door. Weird glitch. Okay, very nice so far. Okay, invisibility for the win. Stealth kill him. Excellent. We've reached the prison. Find our prisoner in one of these cells. Got our invisibility, but oh damn it. Sasha, get it back! Get it back! We need to take out that warden. He's gonna notice us. Okay, let's see if we can go get this guy. One hit kill. Hopefully. Excellent. Alright, now we're gonna start our hacky hacky business. Hopefully we can find him in one go. Thank the stars. Bam! Bam! Our prisoner located. We need to get them back to command in one piece. Find your way to the exits and don't leave the subject behind. So we gave them our secondary weapon. We're gonna have to try to fight our way out of here at this point. Ain't nobody got time for stealth at this point. Oh, damn. Alright, time to go loud. Loud and proud. Anybody else left? Didn't sit off the alarm, sucker. 
All right, now we just have to ensure that our former prisoner escapes with their life. Okay. Let's get out of here. So out of that, we managed to get a Force Spectre blueprint. It's better than the Vapor. I'm not sure if it's the best one or not, but depending on how well you do, you get a certain number of points. Like if you kill all the Wardens, you get a point. If you go in completely stealthy without setting off an alarm, you get a point, and so on and so forth. So that was actually pretty beneficial. We did pretty well there, I'd say. So we have one more mission we'll do in this episode. And that'll be Todd. It's going to be a capture mission against the Grenier. Levels range from 20 to 22. Oh, there he is right down there. Let's go get our first one. Should be no issue. Our Bolter Prime is going to take him down so fast. Oh, he's making a run for it, all right. He's trying to. But no such luck today, Pally. And the last one, he's trying to get away, but better luck next time. Bam. And that will officially be the end of our intro to the Phobos planet. We still have plenty of missions to go, so expect to see some videos on those in the future. And we're still going to continue playing through each and every one of these missions all the way to the very end of the game. At least, technically what the end of the game is right now. Maybe they'll add some more missions later. But, I do hope you enjoyed everybody. Thank you so much for watching as always. Don't forget to click like to show your support. And if you're new, join the rest of us in Seek Nation by clicking subscribe. And I will see you 